Hello and welcome back to Outer Worlds. We're heading toward the geothermal plant and Parvati and I are basically as ready as we can be. I... I... Well, we did take some time to get ready and now... We might be able to handle... Oh, fuck. Wait a second. I was under the impression that, uh... The Marauders didn't respawn, but... Seems like they a little bit do. Okay, Parvati. Sure thing. Take a little bit of cover. We need to take out some marauders. Or I don't know, I definitely Yeah. Yeah. We we fought those marauders before. Here we go. Oh, that's not what I'm gonna use. Can you just take him out? I don't want to use my rifle. God damn it. They're so smart. Pistol does no damage. Longer ranges. Neither does the shotgun. We need to close in a little bit. I need better weapons! It's basically a melee weapon. Go in. Oh, do the slam oh, dunk. The Coming. All right. Another assault rifle. Where is he? Somewhere around here. Wait. Where did he fall? <laughs> what the hell? How can I not find him? Whatever, we lost them. And these are the previous bands, they're still here with the loot. Actually, I should have scrapped this when I saw it. One thing we can maybe consider doing is that there is a vending machine here, right? Uh, I'm gonna go back and check out the vending machine and uh, Unfortunately the vending machines <clears throat> don't give me uh, a good deal, but they might be able to give me some weapons still all right. So this is all We can buy and from the first look, it doesn't seem like we want any of it. Maybe some Adrena. Actually, Adrena is just 40. Is quite good. Oh, 20% discount. That's the discount that I actually chose. <clears throat> so that's gonna help us quite a bit. I was like, hmm, why is it just only 40? It used to cost more. Pure water. We don't have to buy that, actually, how we're doing. I might want to buy some pure water. Uh, let's buy like two. Oh, it cost me 80. Uh, Alright, let's go. I know there's uh, another vending machine in the community center. I'm not sure if you should check it out. Uh, ultimately, I suppose I can use my laser rifle. I do have some bullets for it, so uh, maybe that's what I'm going to do. Although, the laser rifle is uh, well, not really offering a lot of DPS, but it does give me uh, long range. I need a better gun.
abandoned space of choice settlement has a vending machine as well and i should probably make it uh my thing that i, I actually check out these vending machines i know that uh, uh the vending machine in the community center <clears throat> is uh well it was offering uh good armors at the time i was uh kind of considering buying it but i also didn't have a lot so let's check out the community center very quickly just for the vending machine so many marauders like what the hell like we have like five citizens now um, well okay maybe like 25 and i killed at least as many marauders don't we have a vending machine yeah so vending machine is in the back just wanted to take the most efficient path for it taste of freedom um i just check out the guns so we got us yeah that's a terrible shotgun light machine gun yeah not, nothing really special yeah i was kind of considering buying these uh, very, very nice helmets. They're actually not super expensive. Heavy helmet. Actually, I might, maybe should do it because I have a crap helmet and a decent heavy armor. And it doesn't cost that much to buy it. 136. Yeah, maybe we can do that. Okay, compare. Can I comp compare to what? Okay, well, I'm buying the... Wow, actually, it shows the durability. It's 4,000. <clears throat> uh, so we buy the helmet. And... Uh, that's it. And obviously use the helmet. Let's go. So I guess we are still getting a little bit ready, but I, I think we are pretty much ready. The main thing I was hoping for, but it seems like it's not, not possible, is to get a, a long gun. Well, technically, I got a long gun, but like, ah, long range rifle. Even 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 short range, like I kind of suck because I use this pistol that deals no damage, and I use the the short tip. But again, we need to be super close. At that point, I I probably would be better with with melee if I was uh, actually half a decent with melee. We gotta be damn careful here. So we got electric fences. Uh, multiple mechs inside. It's unclear. It doesn't seem like a turret. Keep in mind, in this mode, well, we're not playing hardcore, so not like the game is over if we if we die, but we get sent back to the last uh, auto save or manual save location, which can be only in a ship or a screen transition into a building. So we gotta be damn careful here. At least three mechs. And we don't know how strong these mechs are. I'm not even sure if my bullets uh, deal good enough damage to them. We can handle this. The laser gun seems to be doing an okay job. What if I we use the single this. shot? Oh, look at us. Okay, well, <laughs> not super efficient uh, defense. At least the robots uh, should be hiding, so they don't get sniped. Replace oh, trash. Look out. Oh, oh my god, these are resistant to regular damage. There's... Here I go. Okay, that's gonna help. Nothing personal, I swear. Okay. So that's the plan. Uh, piston, that's junk. 
Armor parts. Adreno. Uh, never hurts. Be careful. Look around. This is actually kind of cool. Like, uh, I like playing with the hardcore mentality, but even even then, uh, sometimes I just get too lazy and like, you know, just run in. If I die, you know, like, I'm back. I'm back. Like, I lost like five seconds. Who cares, right? And uh, now we have to be a little bit more careful. At least there's a higher penalty for uh, messing up. I'm not good at uh, picking these things. I would need to get a lot better. Is there a way to... Uh, I don't think we can do enough drugs. For that. We just have to rely on skills. Oh my god. The helmet that we bought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. We're taking it. Oh, a vending machine. Maybe I shouldn't use it right now. I get just shot in the back while I'm using it. Oh, energy cell. Uh, that's actually quite expensive. Incoming! Nice. Oh no. We got a serious one. Take it out. It's bouncing off. That's the last of them. Okay. Like some trash. Yeah, we can go inside, but <clears throat> I prefer to be furrow. So the plan is to look around. See what's up. When it's all clear, we check out the vending machine. And then go inside. Just break it down. Is there a way to disable this? Seems like no. Yeah, we can't pick it. Well, let's check out the vending machine. Seems like uh, it's clear now. Um, no. I don't really see anything that could be useful. Spacer's Choice Pistol. So many... Yeah, hard-earned, extra armor rating. Also, I, I looked into it and apparently... Inventory, and uh, when we use the Adreno, we also use whatever is next to it. So it's basically like a co combat boost. So you probably don't want to put in uh, the bread noodles over there. It's it would be very questionable. So maybe you want to put in some uh, combat enhancing drugs here. But even, but then it's a little questionable again because what if it's like a just a regular heal? Like, do I really want combat enhancing drugs all the time when I want to heal? Probably not. I, I'm, this is this seems very questionable. At least as I understand it now. But whatever we had next to it actually got used up. So this is like super cheap, uh, movement speed extra, melee weapon attack speed, so we're gonna put this in and it's probably gonna get used. Actually, it's only one. If it, if it worked differently, like maybe this uh, didn't get used up and we just got the bonus in addition to the heal, I don't know. I don't think that's how it works. Uh, maybe you wanna drink a little bit? One pure water. I don't mind this whole drinking and eating uh, uh, portion of the game. Because without 
this, uh, we would we, we would have a lot of items that just have no purpose. And it's not big of a fuss, it's just something extra to consider. Makes me uh, think of uh, the main character as more of a human. Not just like, yeah, didn't die, never need to eat, don't need to do the damn thing. Uh, space is choice. Some kind of office. The control. These vending machines have very similar stock. Bypass shunt. Sell value. Mac pick. So we can pick this up. Maybe we should. Because most likely we're gonna find something more valuable. Buy back to the right. I hope we're doing the right thing. It does seem like these robots are resistant. Physical attacks. <laughs> we're pretty good at this. <laughs> Look at the recharge rate of the ability. <laughs> That's my specialty. No, not the ability to the recharge speed. Yeah. It doesn't cost me anything because she has infinite bullets. And you can argue that, yeah, managing your uh, companion's ammo should be part of it. You know, I, and I could definitely see that, but it can also be boring. Ultimately, they gotta balance uh, the game in a way that it needs to be fun. Unlock off his door. <clears throat> Mr. Brayden, this letter serves as an informal notification of our company's displeasure toward your management of Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant. For reasons uh, related to exceeding your staff budget in your latest quarterly report, please select five subordinates to be dismissed immediately. Additionally, please contact our office to schedule your official reprimand at your earliest convenience. Failure to schedule your official reprimand will result in an official reprimand. <laughs> um, Spacer's Choice family would like to collectively remind you that working for Spacer's Choice is not a right, but a privilege. Right. I don't know if you want to read all of these. <laughs> Alright. Ammo. Most of all, you just have a lot of light ammo. You probably want a weapon that utilizes it. Okay. <clears throat> I had to borrow a copy of your Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. Radio has been stuttering, and I needed the reference. I returned the copy to the repair bay. Mm. So perhaps it is marked on the map as well. We can go upstairs. There's Heading still out. something we can do there, I believe. Watch the bathroom. Oh, come on! Is there a way to bust it open? Physical force! Oh, I guess not. 
Very good containers. <laughs> oh, oh, that's leaving the geothermal plant. Mind your head. Oh, this one. Let's check out this floor before we go down. And keep an eye out uh, for a book. That's probably gonna be downstairs. Who knows? Seems like we have the big decision ahead of us here. Use the terminal. Maybe we do this later and just hop down. Oh. I'm on my way. I told her to stay put. <laughs> God, what? What is that? I can't. <clears throat> this facility is in a state of lockdown. Oh, we need the passcode. Oh, we got the passcode. Personal files. Uh, Chester Higgins again. That... Hall had found him fiddling around uh, with one of the mechanicals, so I had to wire, um, write him up for tampering with company prop property, uh, just in case I'm reading this a couple of days from now and feeling bad for what I've done. Let me just remind myself that I've warned him before. He's always been a little crooked in the skull. He was working on some logic module. I confiscated it. Should be in my lockaway room for the foreseeable future. So this is what we need for the spaceport uh, dog guy. Uh, it doesn't sit right with me. Company's been replacing our guards with auto, auto mechanicals. At this rate, I'm gonna end up a chief of security with no staff. Just a small army of mechanicals knocking about. Guns pointed at every which way. Company tells us they're safe programmed to treat us humans like their own. People are liable to break down, but an automatical never will. I don't know. Doesn't sit right with me. But the company's never been wrong before, I suppose. Really? So it seems like we have this uh, noise in the background. Um, I'm hard to specify. Well, it's hard to specify what it sounds like, but there's like a distinct noise. Uh, when possibly something uh, we, we read or uh, actually updates our quest log. Worst has happened. Mechanical has gone crazy. Locked myself down here. Just trying to gather my courage. I'm gonna make a mad dash for the control room. Might be able to shut things down. Will delete this entry if I ever return. Greetings, Security Chief S. Tanaka. This is an automated message initiated by Spaces Choice Worker Safety Contingency Protocols. The security lockdown has been initiated. This is not a test. Your behavior during this lockdown will be reviewed during your quarterly audits. Anxiety is a common side effect of life-threatening situations in... Angered by... What? I'm not familiar with this word. By security lockdowns. Fight back against anxiety with an ice-cold bottle of Zero-G brew. A zero G brew. Okay, fine, whatever. I'm not gonna drink some zero G brew, okay? Uh, what stuff? Oh, probably I should scrap this. Teamwork. Like, come on. I, I can't compete with the stone death hammer. Wow. 
place is uh, quite big. Robots. We made it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, maybe heavy ammo. Heavy ammo is uh, quite hard to get, and I don't think I should use it with my soul rifle. Well, we might use it because it helps me. Well, it's it's a, it's a good gun, I suppose, but it's very pricey to use, and I'm I'm not planning to buy ammo for it. So the power is on. Riot control armor. It's gotta be worse than my heavy armor. Yeah, so much worse. I do like reading these notes. But uh, also, I wouldn't mind some uh, uh, something like a Bioshock hat that the notes are read out loud, and that way you can just uh, keep going and also uh, listen to the notes. I'm not saying that should be done necessarily instead, but in addition, it would be great. Of course, that requires voice acting, so. I don't mind this uh, this way, just that could be something that I would probably use if it was an option. Away, Phantom. Higgins? Okay, I'm going away. Oh, Jeremy! Self-diagnostics complete. Navigation systems operational. Combat systems operational. It's not the best choice. It's the spacer's choice. Right. This is odd. Why aren't you attacking me? Yeah, he made it out of the junkyard. He's Jeremy, the robot. Um, Hostile actions towards Spacer's choice mechanics are contrary to logical directive. Conclusion All hostile auto mechanicals must be defective in compliance with Spacer's choice policy. All defective auto mechanicals must be permanently dismantled. Please allow me to assist. Let me get this straight. So you won't help me destroy other uh, mechanicals? Well, I like. Affirmative. Uh. Mechanicide protocols loaded. Awaiting confirmation. Well, like, they are his race in a way, and he's just a robot. I'm not sure about this. Entering standby mode. Awaiting further instruction. You made it out of the junkyard? All systems fully operational. Return journey successfully completed. Spacer's Choice would like to thank you for complying with your duties. I'm leaving. I think it's best if he stay that he stays here. He could just get in the way and I'm 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 doing just fine on my own. Borrowed a copy of uh, Young Spaces Guide to Mechanical Engineering. I think it's volume free. I need something to read down in the pit. Much obliged. Um, and where is it? <clears throat> Corporate just sent a team of technicians to conduct a complete refit of all are mechanicals. Every sentry and drone. It's not my place to say so, but it doesn't... Doesn't this run contrary to the Spacer's Choice mission of being as cheap as possible? Just in case I am audited, I would like to formally express how grateful I am to be part of the Spacer's Choice family. 
Spacer's Choice is the leading brand in affordable sundry across Halcyon. It's not the best choice, it's the Spacer's Choice. I wouldn't really just go with this motto, like, come on. Like, it's not the best choice, it's Spacer's Choice. Like, okay, okay, but this... Oh, man. Why not just say, like, it's Spacer's Choice? Yeah, it's like, it's not the best, it's it's what we got. <laughs> Fine, whatever. I just finished uh, routine maintenance on our mechanical sentries. I found some strange modification to their logic modules. I haven't had time to run a diagnostic, so I don't know what's been modified. All I know is that these modifications were introduced in our recent refit. Company went through the trouble of refitting every single mechanical in the plant not long ago. Guessing this was the work of uh, those visiting uh, technicians. <clears throat> I filed the report, but my supervisor told me not to worry about it. Said the company knew what it was doing. Ordered me to forget any alleged modification to the logic modules. Decided to do a bit of sleuthing by my own self. Got my hands on a logic module. Time to do a little experimentation. So the logic modules of these mechanicals are indeed being very much tampered with and they are very dangerous. Usually the robots are are friendly. Let's go to where Higgins now. Can I just look at this place? It's quite big. No no no, just leave me alone! Where is he? Go away, Phantom! Hope you're not in the lava. Hope you're not a ghost. No, 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 just leave me alone. Oh, we got. A floor plan. Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. Yeah. Is there a way to avoid that? Maybe it's possible to turn off the steam. Go away, Phantom! So, second floor, uh, we got a uh, steam <laughs> coming out of pipe, malfunctioning. Maybe we can turn it off somewhere else. I usually would do the quick save run into the steam action, but we're just gonna play it safe now, because I don't know. Maybe it's gonna kill us. Mr. Ouch. Books for the guy. Uh, I'm sure. Get away! Hey, Higgins, what's up? You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot, scram! Despite his uh, mental state, he had the good. Uh, he had the right idea because those robots uh, were. Uh, seemingly not capable of climbing ladders. So... I wasn't trying to startle you. Most people don't see me coming. Oh my god. Even if I had Sneak Freddy, that's just a creepy line. Uh, calm down, I'm not trying to hurt you. You can talk? The Phantom's never talked before. Well, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that Sprat raw. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. I'm not sure how long this guy was down here. 
we don't really know the time the time it, it took place like uh, the the geothermal uh, getting run over by robots do you think sprats it's possibly like weeks but it's probably not a super long time of course sprats are an excellent source for my daily recommended intake of mercury Chester D Higgins the D stands for definitely not insane I use it as a reminder So how long have you been down here? Hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. So what exactly do you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. I see. So you were an engineer? I specialized in auto-mechanicals, drones, sentries. Repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. If you work on these mechanicals, you must uh, know a way to stop them. Look. I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. Ooh, Lie 65. I would need to be like a super blyer. <sighs> I can deal with the mechanicals. Seems like Persuade and Intimidate is interchangeable. I can deal with the mechanicals. I made it this far, didn't I? Uh, seems like he like, a little bit lost his mind, but also keep in mind that... What would you do if you uh, were stuck in like a, not even like a, a, s a small dark room, but you were stuck and uh, killer robots were, uh, were, you know, were in the factory. Like you were stuck in this situation, I'm again just kind of struggling to come up with a, a similar bum. Well, you would, you would be like you would be scared of shit, but also you would be somewhat bored in a way, but also desperate. So your mind would wander quite a bit. You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Uh, mechanicals follow the behavior of their logic module. Someone has tampered with it. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, uh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Any idea where I can find a logic module? Funny thing, I was working on a logic module just before the mayhem started. Security chief found me and confiscated the logic module. The tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. Right. So, how have you been surviving all this time? Jimmy'd opened the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. Oh, months. This place looks like it's been ab abandoned for a while. What happened? Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. And you weren't killed? I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. I should go. Well... <laughs> Head up. You're looking for a crew, Higgins? We could use a crazy person. Another crazy person in the crew. Alright, let's go up. So, this is the second floor. With the gas. Oh, we can. Is 
looks like water. Oh. Incoming. Here I go. Yeah. Can I go through it? I really would like to avoid that. I already took a lot of damage. I was screwing around with the gas. But she heals fast. Okay. Robot. Oh. oh, optional reprogram the auto mechanicals. Okay. Uh, reprogram who though? <laughs> They're all dead now! So, I also come this way, but probably shouldn't. Shut up the steam, release valves. God damn it. How high is my engineering? God damn it, it's bad. <laughs> it's 15 boosted. If I equipped an armor that, it, that enhanced my engineering, we would be good. But I actually should have kept an armor like that. I had one, but I don't have one now. I'm not sure doing drugs would be enough. Engineering is linked to what attributes? If I up my perception by two, do some drugs. Let's try that. Let's try to up my perception. If this lowers my perception. We're trying to do drugs to increase my perception. Mind attributes? Uh, let's do that. It only stacks once. And it boosted my engineering to 21, actually. Oh, because of the caffeine drink? It might be enough. Oh, nice. I need to become a better engineer. Oh, bright control armor. It's kind of garbage. Stealth skills as well. It's kind of worth selling, so maybe I'll keep it for that. Don't just uh, trash it. I don't know about using a workbench now. What would I need for this? They're like. Whatever. My locking is only 18, right? Is that the problem? find it. Yeah. Luck ping is 18 and I would need 25 for that. My power armor is, is dropping my lock pick skill. But not in a super significant way. So if I strip down my lock picking would be 23. But I would need to do some drugs. <laughs> All right, round two with drugs. Um, what what drug can we do? Armor rating. Your water. Yeah, that's 
we can boost mind attribute, I think. Maybe body attributes would do it too. I think body attributes would do it. Yeah, that's that's lock picking. So we can drink a water. If I want to do that. This personality. Uh, definitely not the drink. Mind attributes. Okay, let's drink this. So this ups my mind attribute. Also increases the intelligence. It goes to maximum. This is one thing that I was uh, just cons considering that uh, can I go higher than very high? And I, and I can. Uh, so we can. Ooh. So this only allows me to even attempt to pick it. But it would still cost me quite a bit. So maybe we don't want to do it. And definitely put back our armor. Program the robots now. Okay. This place is huge. I can't help but feel that we are skipping parts of it. So this is the entrance. I'm just trying to be thorough. And possibly avoid the backtracking. Imagine if we just skipped this and like I was just running around like what do I have to do? That's how it works. You know? Doing once Right is the fast way. Always the fast way. You know, if we, I just run through it and I half ass it and I just leave and I just have to keep running through the same things because uh, I don't know what I'm missing in the first place. It could be so long. So this is activated. This is the E2. I think we are just about down here. Modify behavior. Select new mode. Error. Select new target. Error. Define intruders. It doesn't matter because they're all dead. Yeah, this is Yvonne. This is what I ignored at the start. Yeah, I could have uh, come this way. Jeremy. If I did, uh, disabling the robots would have made sense. Although I'm not really sad about destroying the robots. Okay. Seems like we are done here. We just need to leave. Forty-five lockpick.
Alright. I think we need to do that. Wait. One turbine. Seems like there are three turbines. Are they all sparking a little bit? Even without uh once we do this, there's no going back. Yeah, I don't know. The thing is I don't wanna take away the power for from anybody. Do you understand what you're about to do? I wouldn't mind hearing your opinion. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. I agree with you. I see your point. I think I'm ready to make a decision. Why do I have a feeling that I should have two companions here that maybe give me a... a, a, a fuller decision here? Should I... I don't know. We gotta make a decision. Reed tells me Edgewater is going to die without workers and power. Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. The point is, there are no good choices here. The good choice is that, the thing is, the, the geothermal is capable of supporting both communities. And apparently Edgewater is going to die without the workers. Uh, because the Saltuna factory. But it seems like the uh, botanical thingy is just fine. Uh, without edge water. And uh, the big question would be is that how much people really chose to be in edge water? And, I, and it's certainly true that a lot of people chose to be in edge water and maybe they are enjoying their lives there. But people also chose to be in uh, that other place, the deserters, botanical thingy, whatever. Deserters are a community. I, I just can't destroy what they built. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? The only choice here is that I don't shut down the power of of either locations, but I suppose I need to get uh, the thingy for my ship, which is a very selfish choice. I see your point. I think I'm ready to make a decision. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. I'm glad you did. I like hearing from you. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. I don't fucking know. This is quite the dilemma. I'm not even sure how can I even uh, begin to solve this moral dilemma 
So if I took, I, I think the best choice would be the morally righteous choice is that both parties just get to live. But we're just gonna skip through that. I, I need my thing, and uh, and uh, let's say we have to choose one of them. Which is the choice? How can I choose either? I don't know. The thing is, the way I see it, uh, Edgewater, maybe, according to her, doesn't have a chance without the workers. But uh, the deserted workers have a chance without Edgewater. Edgewater has more built and the, the, the biggest problem is their leaders I suppose and as much as I dislike Spacer's choice I can't really argue with the the fact that at least it's some kind of organization uh, the deserted deserted workers will get no help whatsoever from Spacer's choice so uh, but, for example, let's say they they stop being able to uh, generate food. Then what? If we take that away, then there's nothing. They're just dead. There's no relocation to other planets. There's just nothing. So this is a huge dilemma. Maybe the computer actually gives me more options than this binary one. Uh, plan status. Emeraldvale, geothermal plant operating at 22% efficiency. Edgewater, Saltuna Cannery, and Botanical Laboratory. So, this plant can support two places at 22% efficiency. Warning, structural damage detected. Please notify your designated supervisor. Uh, processing. Uh, safety failures detected. High likelihood of moderate to severe structural uh, damage redirecting power is an irreversible procedure why you want to continue yeah yeah emerald veil geothermal plant operating at yeah whatever oh my god so i think it's irreversible because they have to make this choice super hard why why would you do this I can't. How would I? How would I make this decision? This is an impossible dilemma. This is something that I would like to read about online. But the thing is, Spacer's Choice is is guilty of so many things. They just exploit people, and this is just a disgusting uh, bureaucracy, and it's just t terrible. And they don't care about people, it's just uh, all, well, it's basically all about the bottom line. Uh, but can we really? So basically this is supporting something deeply rotten or supporting something hopeful that may just not work. And... I know which one I am. Uh, I can't fault people for choosing uh, uh, hope. It seems like Edgewater is... The thing is, Edgewater is already dying. The workers didn't leave. The workers left because Edgewater is rotten. Even if I forced them back, they would still go away. They would still go away and, you know, maybe they would become marauders. Because we certainly have that. Or maybe they would find another way. I would just torpedo the, the laboratory for no reason. The It wouldn't solve the underlying issue with Edgewater is why the workers left, why people left, why people don't want to be there. At least a lot of people, because we see a lot of marauders, we see a lot of deserters, and 
it does seem like I'm or I'm not 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 sure if I can really call it at this point but it does seem like the majority of people just want nothing to do with Edgewater and the botanical laboratory is promising to be something else something more something that's not reliant on on space's choice because the botanical laboratory is about providing for the people without relying on uh, a spaces choice organization so I think and I'll just give one plus point because uh, my companion is from Edgewater and I and I know she believes in it and uh, that it can be changed but I, I can't see that if I if I saw if if it, if the the top guy step down from Edgewater I would say give the power to Edgewater but this doesn't solve the problem because even if I send the guys back the top guy is still gonna be there the workers still wanna go what let at most they become marauders then I just torpedo the laboratory and they're gonna still go away and they're gonna become marauders at most or maybe they find another solution that's probably not another solution it seems like Edgewater is uh, dying anyway and this would just force the hand of the workers that who, who already wanted to go away but it's not fair it's not fair to torpedo Edgewater either but I think I have to go with the laboratory it's it's a tough choice it, it it's basically like trying to support something that's very hard to support but it kind of kind of works ish it's not a good system or just trying to you know to support something new that may not work out because I guess they can grow food but that might be enough and the uh, salt tuna factory I'm, I'm the thing is you do you need the salt tuna factory I'm like like it seems like just a fishing factory like you don't need the factory you can still you can still eat some tuna, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, I think I have to go with the laboratory. And it was not an easy choice. I, I could have basically flipped a coin, but I, I went to the hard path and just tried to uh, justify my, uh, my <clears throat> choice. I really hope you're not gonna hate me for this. Surtur's reputation increased. Well, right on. You guys should uh, like me quite a bit for this. It does seem like a no-brainer choice because the botanical factory, uh, laboratory, actually provides food. So that's that's a solution for food. It's only a question of uh, space of choice are going to be dicks about it and they maybe be going to show up. Okay, so... We have a lot of uh, quests to return. Complete it doesn't matter. So we can return to read. And we can also... Read must be furious. Oh, I didn't do this. I didn't retrieve a logic module. Oh, crap. I tried to be as thorough as possible, but somehow we didn't find that. Oh, actually, it might be not be possible because uh, there was a room that was locked. Is it? Yeah, it's in the locked room. It cannot be done. I'm showing something else. Is there like a key for it? Come on. 
Whoa. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, I missed this. module all the stuff pretty good sort of shotgun it's a level three long gun all right maybe being good at pistols would be better so let's leave this place seems like we have nothing else to do here I'm just checking the quest log very quickly to see what else so complete it doesn't matter we have to return to ludwig we have to return to thomas uh give him the manuals we have to return to grace so maybe we should return to the botanical garden because uh it's closer All right yeah it's over here uh just just mark it Turn to Thomas. Yep. Oh, so that was the geothermal. Pretty good trip. Wonder about the consequence of my choice. I'm not super... Uh, confident in it, but I think I made the right choice. At least I can live with it. <clears throat> anyway, guys, uh, this is a good time to take a break uh, before we see what happens. What consequence uh, <gasps> this will have for Edgewater and the entire community. So, see you guys next time.